Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of e with the power of 2 theta times sine 3 theta d theta. Okay, you can solve this integral using the formula for integration by part. That is, integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus integral of v du. Okay, so here if I define e with the power of 2 theta as u, and if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, you get 2 2 times e 2 theta d theta is equal to du. And now you can define sine 3 theta times d theta, this term basically, as dv. Therefore, v will be equal to integral of sine 3 theta d theta, which will be equal to minus 1 divided by 3 um, cosine 3 theta. Okay? If you're not sure how to calculate the integral of sine 3 theta d theta, write for me in the comment section and I will explain for you how to do that okay so now you need to substitute this expression into this formula so therefore this integral basically will be equal to uv that is u this is v that will be minus 1 divided by 3 times e with the power of 2 theta times cosine 3 theta minus integral of v du okay so this minus times this minus that will be plus 2 times 1 divided by 3 that will be 2 third right and then e 2 theta e with the power of 2 theta times cosine 3 theta d theta Okay, so now you need to calculate this integral. To solve this integral, you need to apply this formula for integration by part one more time. Okay, so this integral, that is integral of 2 third e with the power of 2 theta cosine 3 theta d theta will be equal to. So here if you define 2 third, um, 2 third e with the power of 2 theta as u and if you take the derivative from each side of this equation therefore 4 third e 2 theta d theta will be equal to du and if you define this term that is cosine 3 theta d theta as dv you can calculate v as the integral of cosine 3 theta d theta which will be equal to 1 divided by 3 sine 3 theta Okay, so now if you substitute this expression into this formula for integration by part, you can write that uh, this integral will be equal to, so this integral will be equal to uv, that is u, this is v, therefore uv will be equal to 2 third times 1 third, that will be 2 divided by 9, times e with the power of 2 theta, times sine 3 theta, minus integral of v, that is this, times du, which is this term. Okay, so 4 third times 1 third, that will be 4 divided by 9, times e with the power of that uh, 2 theta times sine 3 theta d theta. Okay, so now, so we had this integral initially, okay, that is equal to this term plus this integral. And we know this integral is equal to this two term. Okay, therefore this original integral, let's write it down one more time. The original integral was integral of e with the power of 2 theta times sine 3 theta d theta. This integral, that was the original integral, is equal to this term. This is minus 1 divided by 3 e with the power of 2 theta cosine 3 theta plus this term. And this integral we know is equal to that. So therefore that will be plus 2 divided by 9 uh, e with the power of 2 theta sine 3 theta minus the last term that is uh, so 4 divided by 9 is constant so I take it out of the integral 4 divided by 9 times integral of e with the power of 2 theta sine 3 theta times uh, times d theta okay so now you see here this term is the same as this term so I can bring this term basic to the other side of the equation okay so I, I add them up so that the coefficient here is 1 the coefficient here is 4 divided by 9 therefore the summation will be 13 
divided by 9 times the integral of e with the power of 2 theta times sine 3 theta d theta will be equal to this term plus this term. That is minus 1 divided by 3 times e with the power of 2 theta times cosine theta plus 2 divided by 9 e with the power of 2 theta sine 3 theta. Okay? Therefore, this integral, which was the original question, the integral of e with the power of 2 theta times sine 3 theta d theta will be equal to this term times 9 divided by 13. So 9 divided by 13 times minus 1 divided by 3 e with the power of 2 theta cosine 3 theta plus 2 divided by 9 e with the power of 2 theta times sine 3 theta. And this is the solution to our integral. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you are interested, please feel free to subscribe to this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.